Today I'm going to show you how I have built this menu in card on my template site. Now you may be familiar with my website templates.card.co um, and the last uh, couple of days I've been playing around with cursor and doing what is now referenced as vibe coding and I've come up with creating this amazing pop-out menu for my website. So I'm not going to give you a few a full tutorial on how to do it but I'm going to show you the basics and I'm also going to give you the entire code to copy exactly my menu here that I've used um, and then I'll give you some instructions on how to edit it etc. So if you're not familiar with HTML and CSS then it doesn't matter anymore because AI is going to help you along the way. So let's just first of all show you that I was using cursor for this. Um, you can use any AI really, ChatGPT will be fine, um, Claude. I found that Claude Sonnet 3.7, uh, which is the new version of um, Claude Sonnet, has uh, gives me the best results. Um, Cursor, when you use it, it gives you 50 free premium prompts per month. Um, and I have exhausted those and I haven't upgraded yet, but I will be upgrading soon. Um, so I have been using GPT-40 Mini, which I found is not as good. It doesn't do what I, what I ask it to do a lot of the time. Um, but for this demonstration, I am going to be using this just so I can show you how it works. So once you've signed up for cursor.ai and then downloaded the app, um, you just need to create a project and you can just set where your files are going to go. So I've just put them in my, in my documents folder. Um, and then I've created another folder called card and then within here I've created my um, different projects. So I've had a go at making a full screen menu and a top down menu. So if I open up this full screen menu as an index file, which I'll get to in a minute, um, you'll see that I have, um, so this is, this is actually an image that I've just laid on the background just as an example. Um, but if I, oh, what's happened there? Let me try that again. Um, if I press this burger menu here, you'll see that I created this whole massive menu and I did this all with Cursor AI and um, using some other AI tools as well, but mainly Cursor AI and this is pretty epic, but it got so big this file that I was like, I can, this is too, over, I've overcomplicated it too much. So that's when I decided to reverse that all out and then eventually landed on this pop out menu, which I thought looks quite nice. Um, so the pop-out menu has obviously this is sticky on the on the right hand side of the screen. So if I scroll, it's always going to be there. It's always there on mobile as well. Um, so when you expand on mobile, if I go into inspect here, um, you can see that on mobile it just stays there, but it pulls out full screen. Looks really smart. Um, and then I've got the links, which just will scroll down, and as they scroll, um, the menu disappears, and then these go to my other pages as well. Um, so whilst I'm here, I might as well say that I do offer custom uh, card websites. Um, I also am taking submissions for um, this um, my template site. So if you do make card templates and you want to make some money, then feel free to submit your template. Um, and I've also got a link to my YouTube channel. And if you are enjoying this video and you do think you're going to use this menu, then please give my video a like. That really helps. And also a subscribe would be amazing. Just to give you a background on what I do, um, my card template site has been running since 2018. I've had 50,000 visitors to my site in the last 12 months. So I am pretty big on card, love it. So what we're gonna do um, in here, so in cursor, um, I'm gonna go and create um, in my folder a new, a new folder and we're just gonna call this uh, test menu. And then we're gonna go and create a new folder in here. We're gonna call this index.html. Um, so what I like to do is to just start by building the menu in the browser rather than in card because if you're building in card you've got a you've got to copy the code paste it into the embed and then you've got to upload it and preview it and it takes forever but doing it this way is a lot quicker. All you need to remember is that when you when you've been prompting it for a while you've got to specify at the end that it's for card because it will then remove some of the the code that's unnecessary because it knows what card needs to to embed code so actually if i just go into here quickly 
so I'm just loading up my uh, templates.card.co um, website on the back end on card so you can see everything's on here but if it scrolls to the bottom so I've got here my burger menu um, so when you're embedding a something like a, a menu like this um, obviously give it a title then your style you want to hide it and you want to put it at the end of the body um, code and then this is just all my code here so like I said this will be available if you go into the description I'll put it in there and I'll also try and um, make it obvious where you've got to update your own information um, it's not that complicated once you know what you're doing um, so we've got some root information here so things like primary color you can change your color there if you're familiar with hex codes on colors um, great place to go and get those is callers um, which is c o o l o r s dot co it's a great place to go and find colors so if you need want to grab some colors there you can do that text color background color transition speed to how quickly the menu is going to open and close the minimum width to how wide it's going to come out from the screen um, if you start reading into this code you can kind of pick it up even if you're not familiar with css so it's quite it's quite straightforward as long as you know what pixels are and and uh, font sizes so rem is an alternative to um, pixel size for fonts and that is what card uses um, over pixels so when you see these numbers on on here um, you've got size in here so 0.875 that is 0.875 rem um, and then where were we yeah so just just have a have a scroll through there's, there's there is a lot here there's a lot it's, it is a lot because menus take up a lot of code but if you if you really want to do this then you know you just got you just got to go through it bit by bit but like i say the documentation that i put in the description will help you um, and if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them um right so go back into cursor so um let's just make a prompt so let's make a really basic prompt so um i would like to make a menu for my website that pops out from the right hand side of the screen um, please create a three line burger menu icon that sits top right of the screen at all times um, on the menu in the same position as the three lines is an X for when the menu is active when closed oh, when pressed sorry when pressed the menu is closed add the following um, menu um, items home about contact right that's it so bearing in mind this is a gpt for a mini because i've run out of um, prompts for claude 3.7 but if you just signed up to this you get 50 prompts so the only thing i'd say is when you prompt because you've only got 50 just make sure that you're asking it to do a lot of things at the same time because if you um if you just do like one change at a time and then you've got like 10 changes that's already 10 prompts but you can probably fit like do your first prompt get what you want and then find all of the changes in one ask it to do that and then submit it and then i find that better because i literally zoomed through 50 of my prompts and i, was, I didn't realize that i only had so few um right so this is now just generating some code for us so let's see what happens so this is done it in three separate um three separate files here um because what you should be doing on um when you're using 3.7 you just have it on agent and then it will do it automatically but all I need to do is just go apply and then accept that here. So this isn't uh, isn't working exactly as it should be, but like I say, using 3.7, you're not gonna, it's not gonna come across these issues, but I'm just gonna set up um, the styles here. So I'm just gonna call it style, and then I'm just gonna paste that in there. And then I'm gonna copy this um, JavaScript here, and this is gonna be the script. So I'm just gonna call it script, and then just paste that in there. Cool. 
Right, so I'm just going to save this now with Command S, and then I'm going to go into my folder. So this is my test menu here, and I'm just going to open this um, and see what it's done. So bear in mind this is one, um, we've put one prompt in here. So we're going to press that. There we go. We've got we've got the uh, the foundations of a menu. So that was so super easy to do. Um, so there's a few like things here that obviously I would want to sort out this burger menu is still showing because it's probably no background color perhaps that we need to bring it through or the Z index which um, Z, Z index will just allow you to properly sort the um, items that are listed on the screen so a higher Z index is going to be further forward on the screen um, but yeah this is so so great how quickly you can build this um, so I'm not going to go into loads of detail, but you can just imagine now you're going to prompt it and you're just going to say, okay, give me a green background, make the font enter and font size 20 pixels. Give me a, put, put a header above it that just says menu and then put another section below that says resources. Um, that's just literally what I've done. And, you know, over, over time um, I've ended up with, with something like this. Um, so it's broken it all down. And then I've gone as far as to grab my beehive email subscribe um, iframe code and I've given it and it's prompted it and put it, put it in there. So the only thing I would make sure that you're doing once the um, once you're happy with what you've done is just create a new folder, a new file, sorry. So in test menu here. Um, so we're just gonna go a new new file and then just call it menu or whatever. I don't think it really matters what they're called. Um, and then I'm just going to go into index and I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm just going to paste it in here. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to start a new a new chat and then we're just going to go, um, this code is going to be used on card. Please update it so that the code is relevant to the platform card. I kind of repeated myself there, but you get the point. Um, and then just submit that. To adapt your HTML code for use on card, we need to ensure that it aligns with cards uh, requirements and best practices. Typically card allows for custom HTML, but you may need to simplify or adjust. So um, I'm just gonna press apply, and then that's gonna apply that automatically and accept. So it thinks that this is the correct code. Um, and I actually think that we don't need um, all of this here. I think that's unnecessary. Um, but again, if you're using 3.7, that's a lot smarter. The AI, the AI is a lot smarter than GPT-40 Mini, so it won't give you this because it will know. So I think we'll probably look, it will look something more like that. And um, if I go back to um, here, we can see that the code just starts with the styles. So you've got uh, styles and then you've got the um, so the styles is the CSS and then under the styles where are we this is a lot of styles a lot of styling um, mobile styles yeah styles and then you've got the actual um, code for the HTML like the menu um, close and menu icons and then all of the links and things um, they will go in there and then you've yeah, got the iframe there for Beehive. Got some more uh, social media links which I haven't actually updated yet. I need to do that. Um, and then you've got the script, which is the JavaScript. Um, so the JavaScript is quite important because that's going to make sure that you're um, that you're loading menus out properly and also that your clicks are taking you to the right places. And um, there's a few tweaks that needs to be done for for card. Um, anyway, I hope that was helpful. It's a very short overview. But if you are um, into card and you do like to add some custom code, then I would 100% recommend using Cursor. And um, I've also built this this ticker um, using Cursor as well yesterday. So I will be doing a video on that in the future. Um, I'm going to just start building lots of plugins now and they're all going to be featured on templates.card.co. So if you have any requests for specific plugins, then I'm definitely happy to spend a few hours trying to get them to work and coding. Um, so put your ideas in the description below and I will almost certainly make them because I'm just going to start pumping these out because I think these are, these are great and the opportunity is really here at the moment.
Um, but yeah, if you want more videos like this on AI and on card, then please give me a subscribe. And thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.